this is part four of the Voltage Send and Receive video series. If you missed parts one through three, you can watch those by going to the Voltage YouTube channel page or a link to the playlist in the description below. In this video, we are going to learn how to choose peers and initiate our first channel open so that we can make payments. As you could see from our last video, we now have a little over 1 million sats available on our Bitcoin on-chain wallet component of our Lightning node. So now we are going to convert this essentially into Lightning so we can make Lightning payments. To do this, we have to initiate another on-chain transaction that will trigger the channel to open. So the next question usually is, who do I open a channel to on the Lightning Network? When you're first starting, there are a couple easy things to look for. One website that you should probably bookmark is the Lightning Labs node ranking site called terminal.lightning.engineering. And you'll see right away on terminal.lightning.engineering that there is a ranking board. And these are nodes that have shown themselves to be high quality nodes on the network, forwarding traffic, low failure, stuff like that. We can see that number one is Wallet of Satoshi. Let's go ahead and click that real quick and we'll get a little bit more detail. We can see that they have over 2000 peers and 500 of those are considered good peers. So what's a good peer? A good peer, according to Lightning Labs, is a peer that has these six green check marks. Their node is online. They have plenty of channels, which is an arbitrary uh, thing. Plenty of channels could mean a lot. Good routing capacity, meaning that their node channels aren't very small. Many healthy channels, meaning that their channels show activity. Channel stability, meaning that the channels stay online. And many good peers, meaning they are have many channels to peers that also have good channels. So we want to make sure that we open a channel with a peer that has these six green check marks. One thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these top nodes have restrictions on the channel size that others can open with them. So if I try to open a 1 million sat channel with these, maybe I will get an alert saying, hey, your channel size proposition is too low, this node only accepts 5 million sat and above channels, etc. On your first no uh, channel, I recommend just kind of going down, like there's a lot of really good nodes on the network, maybe in the 200-ish range. And then you also want to make sure that they're in a high percentile for centrality. And centrality in a very, very basic sense simply means that they have a decent connection to the wider network. That is important because you want connections with nodes that have a good spread to the wider network so that your payments are more likely to succeed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, a node here with at least 80 that looks uh, kind of decent. So let's see, BTS Lightning. All right, it looks like they have 84 channels roughly and 28 of them are good peers. We can go here and see what their good peers are. Let's go ahead and open up a channel. To do this, it says connect. There's a string here, and this is how you connect to other people. You can copy this, and then you can go back to Thunderhub. On the Thunderhub page now, you can click open under the quick actions, and then it'll say open again. So just click open again. Is this a new peer, yes or no? Yes, this is a new peer. We do not have a channel with them yet. In the next box, we will paste what we just got from the terminal site. And now we will pick the channel size. Now you could pick any size that is at least what you have in your Bitcoin on-chain wallet. If I wanted to open a 3 million Satoshi channel, I would have to add funds to my on-chain Bitcoin wallet first. Right now it looks like I can get away with maybe a million sat channel. So let's do that. One million sat channel size. The next option here will be the fee. So remember, a channel open is an on-chain transaction. So we have to choose the fee rate that we are willing to pay for the uh, transaction to be mined. And depending on your time preference, you can put lower or higher. If you click auto, it'll give you an idea of fee rate currently that you can choose to meet a specific time period. So right now it's saying, you know, in about 20 sats per B byte, you could probably get this confirmed within 30 minutes. 
If you do 18 sats per V-byte, you probably get this confirmed within an hour. To get more information on this, you can go to mempool.space and you will see the block that was just recently mined was 33 minutes ago, which uh, is longer than average, right? The average is 10 minutes. And 18 sats per V-byte was the lowest transaction that got mined. You'll see in the next few blocks behind it, the next block will get mined if we put in 18 or higher. So let's go ahead and just put 18 in here, which is the hour estimate. Advanced, you can ignore. You can look at that at your leisure, but you will not be using those options. And then we will click open channel. That's channel opened. We can now refresh Thunderhub and we'll see now that we have zero available in the Bitcoin on-chain and 45,000 that are pending. However, we now have 996,000 Satoshis pending on our Lightning side. So why does this say 900, or sorry, 996,000 Satoshis instead of a million? This is for security purposes. If your peer is offline and you need to close the channel, that reserve will be used to pay for the on-chain fee. On the left side, we could click channels and click pending, and we will see our pending channel is opening. We can click transaction, and this will take us to mempool.space where we can observe the channel uh, confirmation. One thing to consider is that you may want to open more channels to increase your probability of success for payments. So you can go back to the terminal.lightning site and you can uh, choose another peer to open up a channel. That will wrap up on how to open up your first channel on your Lightning node.